folks, though, battling the stigma of mental illness with a few laughs. So it was their idea to create the commercials. It's a campaign that's changing attitudes about mental illness around here, and we'll have the story for you next on CTV News at Noon, live on A. In the health and medical news today, mental illness can affect anyone, any age, any background. People living with mental illness need support, but what they often get instead is stigma. Here is our Maria Pano Palace with more on a campaign that's using humor to battle stereotypes. Walking down the street, you're likely to encounter someone living with a mental illness. Conditions like depression, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia affect roughly one in five Maritimers. Despite their prevalence, these illnesses are often misunderstood, but a group of young Maritimers are trying to change that. You know, I, I'm in my late 20s and, uh, you know, li I live with a mental illness myself. And um, I always thought it would have been great if uh, when I was in the high school age type that there would have been more awareness about mental health issues when I was going to school. So I thought of this as an opportunity to kind of give back and uh, use my experiences to help younger people who might be going through the same struggles. Michael Smith is a member of a mental health youth advisory council. The group is comprised of 25 young people, ranging in age from 14 to 25, who develop resources to educate other youth about mental illness. Their most recent project is a public service announcement aimed at dispelling some of the myths associated with these illnesses. Well, my apple. Jess Wishard is the council's youth engagement coordinator. So it's a really interesting project in that the youth were involved in every aspect from go. So it was their idea to create the commercials. Uh, they contributed to the application and then they took workshops with the Atlantic Filmmakers Cooperative to learn a variety of filmmaking skills which they then applied to the creation of the commercials. It depicts a series of situations where young people are asked to perform a task they're physically incapable of doing. The underlying message is that because mental illness may not be outwardly detectable, it's important to recognize people can't always perform the way we want them to. Peer-to-peer -peer education is really effective, sometimes more effective than hearing something from an adult or from a professional that youth might not necessarily relate to. As a society, we've come a long way in changing our attitudes towards mental illness, but we still have a long way to go. Unfortunately, stigma continues to be very real. I was going to move into a place with two young, seemingly open-minded, artistic type guys uh, when I was just entering into college a couple of years ago. And um, after my first week of living with them, you know, I, I said, okay, you know, I'm bipolar, I have to take all this medication. And after telling them, they said, we can't have you living with us. Dr. Stan Kutcher is one of the country's foremost experts in adolescent mental health. He says stigma often prevents young people from seeking the help they need. Overall, I think we need to give people knowledge so that they understand that mental disorders are disorders of brain function. They're no different than a disorder of the pancreas called diabetes. They just happen to be in your brain. It's important for young people to feel comfortable enough to access help for mental illness. And the best way to make them comfortable is to open the lines of communication. It's a message the Youth Advisory Council hopes will spread. Thank you, Maria. That is from our Maria Pano Palace.